Good morning, you guys. If you can't tell by our faces, it's really early in the morning. It's not like that early. It's 8.30. Yeah. We're just but... not morning people whatsoever. <laughs> but we've got a jam-packed day, and I'm gonna. you guys are going to start with me today because we are heading down to Salt Lake in the Ferrari, so let's go. Also, weird glitch with the Ferrari. It does not like to roll up the window when the door is shut, so that's very cool. I feel like you're sending me off to school. Bye, honey. Okay, that was really <laughs> weird. Uh, you want to get a cold start of our cold start. sick exhaust? It's decent, it's okay. So if you guys watched our last video, we actually just lowered the Ferrari um, on its stock coilovers. We lowered it 22 millimeters in the front and the back, so I, I'm actually pretty excited to be driving it right now because it, it, it looks a lot better. After you lower the Ferrari on its coilovers, it's really good to get an alignment done to make sure the geometry is all good and everything's lined up, nothing's out of place. I'm heading down to make some models and uh, hopefully there has some cool cars there. I'm pretty excited. I haven't been there in a while. So I am sitting in the wonderful waiting room of make some models while they work on the Ferrari and I'm pretty jealous of all their medals in here. It's pretty cool. So I started wandering around and Look who it is. I didn't know it was here, but it makes sense because James rotates cars here all the time, but the wrap looks like it's holding up really well. She's in there, they are all done. The weather is nice, so I'm pretty excited for my drive back up. So while they are taking the Ferrari for a test drive, I'm out here checking out this LP Gallardo. Uh, I gotta say, these are my weakness. Uh, for everyone watching, my birthday is next month, so uh, could you could you see me driving one of those? Maybe not an LP because those are a little out of our price range, but maybe just a first gen Gallardo. I think yes. Sheesh, that looks so good. Thank you, Mix and Models, for taking care of the Ferrari today. Next up is gas, because we are low, so I think we're heading that way. All right, well, that's going. Next up on the list is we are heading back to the shop because Clayton's got more Cayman stuff to do today. I think I've also picked the slowest pump ever. Barely pumping back there. All right, 60 bucks. 60 bucks for a Philip. that's not bad. That's about how much the SRT is too. All right, let's head up into those mountains to Park City. First, I have to figure out how to get out of this crazy gutter here because Utah really likes to put massive gutters everywhere. All right, gutter, it's you versus me. Let's see if we can do this. Just a little bit, super tiny bit, but I honestly don't think I could have avoided it, so. So there's two things that I don't think I'll ever get tired of. One, the view of the engine in the rear view mirror, and two, the view of these mountains. If you guys live in Utah, one of the best canyons to drive through is Provo Canyon. Literally my favorite to drive any car in because it's just so much fun, and the views are spectacular. No, little deer, no, don't go into traffic, no! Well, that just ruined my day. I really hope that deer is okay. Home sweet home. Okay, so time to talk about the Ferrari. So when we first bought it, we noticed a super slight gas smell in the cabin, and I wasn't sure if I was just thinking it or if there was, you know, a gas leak. Turns out, yeah, the fuel pump cracked, and luckily we were prepared for that because we know that's a common issue with Ferrari F430s. About a week ago, the other fuel pump cracked because I was driving it and I was like, hmm, there's that smell again. So both fuel pumps have cracked and luckily we did our research and we knew that that was a common problem so we were able to prepare for it 
and learn how to replace it ourselves. So that's pretty good. The next thing that has broken on the Ferrari is really expensive. It is the headers. So the headers in there and the way that we know that they're broken is because when the car is running, there's a really loud ticking noise coming from the engine. So, and that's also a super common problem. And so now next up is we have to replace the headers. But there's a really good upside to that is if we're replacing the headers, we might as well replace the whole exhaust. Am I right? What do you guys think? She's lowered. We've, we're gonna add darker tint, but I think to complete her, she needs some black tips and a new exhaust. Also, comment down below if you're tired of the purple wrap because we're toying with the idea of unwrapping it, so let us know. Also, before I go inside, I am struggling, you guys, so winter has completely beat up the SRT. There's rock chips everywhere. Someone backed up into the rear bumper, so that's all chipped up. This is a one downside of living in Utah is your front end gets demolished. Let me know what you guys think. Should we keep the red for a little bit or should we unwrap it and go back to silver? I'm struggling with that decision because I really like this color. So, help a girl out. Um, hi. So, I walked in the shop and I entered a like time warping something and it is suddenly like six o'clock. Yeah, the day goes by really fast. <laughs> there is a lot of jobs in the shop when I got back. So, <laughs> that is what we have spent our last six hours doing. It's nighttime, but. And we still have another. The work continues, but it's fun work because it's on your Cayman. Yeah, it's hobby work. Hobby work. I like that. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. And what are you doing? You're welding? We are welding the rear fenders, like what we cut in the last Cayman video, these right here. So, you guys remember when I cut these and bent the tabs up, now we got to fine tune them and uh, tack weld them in place and get it prepped and ready to be sealed Ooh. with some seam sealer Ooh. and rubber and... Are you sure you don't want to use fox tape? I could use flex tape, flex. although I don't have any. <laughs> yeah. You can't be like, flex tape. Flex tape. So I went ahead and borrowed this welder from my Uncle Russ. Whoa. It's definitely not the best welder out there. It's just from Harbor Freight, but it's gonna do the job. All I have to do is tack weld, just to get a little bit of structural rigidity back. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up. And, Are you uh, gonna model that uh, helmet? Absolutely. How do I look? Ooh, you look pretty good. It's probably because you can't see my face, huh? <laughs> you should get into welding. <laughs> uh, eh. So a lot of you guys on our previous video, <sighs> bless your hearts, we're very concerned about our safety. So we are going to take into account all of your comments about wearing gloves and practicing safety first. So let us know if we did it right this time. So first step is you need to know the alphabet and how to count to 10. What? What'd you say? Okay, so disclaimer here. I don't really know what I'm doing, and before you guys go and correct me and say how dumb I am, I am very aware that I don't really <laughs> know what I'm doing. Also, really, the, all I need these to do is just attach them. So I'm just gonna do super basic, get it over with, then seal it up uh, probably tomorrow, and then slap the fenders back on and you'll never see it again. Although we do appreciate your guys' comments because we do learn a lot from a lot of them, so Yeah, if you guys have coming. tips and tricks on like this process or welding, definitely let us know. I just, I'm very aware of This my is not skill right a how-to, this is a watch us try and figure this out. Get it out. done, yeah. <laughs> All right, we got gloves, we got helmet, and we got welder. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, you guys, so the main purpose of this is just to hold the inner fender to the outer fender Really, it's not a structural component. It's not gonna be like load bearing. It's really just kind of holding it together until I can uh, put the panel bonding all on. And um, I think just do like super simple tack welding, even with the paint still on there, it'll hold it just enough. And I'm gonna do like two tack welds per tab, so. So it doesn't have to be pretty. No, it doesn't have to be pretty at all. It just so has let's to do work. It. So I got my hammer here to kind of like hold the tabs up and stuff so it's my fingers aren't really next to the thing so uh, oh my gosh i can already hear everyone typing like how stupid this is no no, no. <laughs> okay. and i'm going to film but i will be at a safe distance with my eyes closed because i can't look at it hmm. 
Hmm. Hey, I think those are the best ones yet. So I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. You sure are. What is this? Hey. What? It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna paint over it. It's all gonna. Be fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. It's fine, okay. guys. Okay. It's fine. Okay, friends. Ready? One, two, three. Cha ching. So this side's done. Done. Of course, just like the angle grinding. That side was like a test side, so it looks really ugly. This side looks a lot better. Oh. Yeah. So check it out. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. From my welding expertise knowledge, it looks Looks decent. Good. One day I hope to be able to do beautiful, like, lay a stack of dimes down kind of welding, but not mm. right now. Right now it's just get by. So the very last step in this process I'm gonna have to do off camera. I thought I had a wire wheel to like grind down the paint a little bit to, to paint it and, and seal all that metal, but um, I don't have one. So I need to go to the store tomorrow and buy one. So that's pretty much it for today. I think we're gonna just pack up all the tools and uh, work on the Cayman another time. You heard it from him, folks. I think that is going to end today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one because it's gonna be a really fun one. But I'm not, I'm not gonna say what, but it's gonna be a really fun one. It is. Um, and it involves a lot of other cars. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be sick. Yeah. It's gonna be sick, guys. So make sure you click subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss out. And I guess we'll just see you in the next video. Bye. Peace. <laughs>